Derek Ray joined by Stuart Robson in the commentary box and we're just seconds away from kickoff in what promises to be a thrilling finale. Stuart, tell us about your pre-match thoughts. Well, it's been a long journey for both these teams, Derek. It's not been easy, but these players are 90 minutes away from making history for themselves. No doubt both managers will have set out their game plans and made sure every player knows exactly what their roles are. What a game we have in store for us. And a passing sequence that's easy on the eye. A look then at the starting eleven. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated, and it could be difficult for them. And here's the starting eleven for Lyon. Anthony Lopez begins in goal. Dejan Lovren plays alongside Duya Chaletatsar in central defence. Oh, can he finish it, Derek? He's blocked it. Well, the defenders will certainly have done their homework, Stuart, and on that basis, must keep more than a weather eye on Lacazette. Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goal scorer needs. Composure, technique and awareness. He will certainly need to be tightly marked today. Well, terrific defending to stop them progressing. Chalet Atsar. Torizo. Lacazette. Could take the lead. Well, a poor effort from a difficult angle, Stuart. Well, he took the wrong decision there. He surely had to cut that back. looking attack here from Lacazette what can he do able to close down the shot now let's see what they can do here but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end Kakere Ryan Sherki Kakere. Well, potential danger. But then the commentator's curse comes into play. Oh, fancy footwork. Opportunity. Well, unfortunately, he couldn't keep the shot down. Well, that's not great, is it? There's been a real lack of quality in the game. The passing's been too safe, and there hasn't been enough movement from the front players. The recipe for a poor spectacle. And so the half-time whistle has gone here at the Parc des Princes in Paris.